Please stay tuned following this presentation for previews of other Barney Home videos. saying my eyes are twinkly and my tail is cute, Julie. <laughs> but I don't have floppy ears. Oh, I wasn't talking about you, Barney. Oh, oh, oh I see. You were talking to your puppy. Oh, puppy, 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 puppy. <laughs> oh, he's really cute, Julie. <laughs> when he tickles, <laughs> have you given him a name yet? Uh-huh. His name is Scooter. Oh, I like that name. Scooter, you have the cutest little floppy ears. <laughs> Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them on your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> okay, dance with us now, Scooter. Come on. <laughs> Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them on your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> <laughs> okay now, Scooter, sing along with us. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them on your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> How does Scooter like it at your house, Julie? He's very happy, and he loves the doghouse we built for him. I give him food and fresh water every day. Oh, do you feed him peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chocolate chip cookies? No, Barney. Those things are for people. And dinosaurs. I give Scooter dog food, but I don't get too close to him while he's eating, because sometimes dogs can get angry if you do. It must be fun to take Scooter for a walk every day. It's good exercise for both of you. Oh, but uh, keep him on a leash so he'll be safe. Oh, I do. And I brush Scooter every day, too. Oh, good. I use a brush like this to keep his fur shiny and smooth. But I'm careful not to pull his tail. That might hurt him. <laughs> I guess, most of all, I give my puppy lots of love. Which is a pretty easy job. Oh, it looks like Scooter loves you back. Have you taught your dog any tricks yet, Julie? I think he's still a little too young. Well, then maybe we could show him some tricks he'll be learning soon. Oh, good idea. You don't have to be a cute ball of fuzz to do all the tricks my doggy does. Let's all bark, rock, rock, because it's fun to do the tricks my little dog does. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Scooter, shake hands. Good little doggy. You don't have to be a cute ball of fuzz to do all the tricks my doggy does. Let's all bark, ruff, ruff, because it's time to do the tricks my little dog does. <laughs> Treats my 
looks like he's learned how to lie down. <laughs> Why did you bring your dog to school today, Julie? We had show and tell, and everybody brought their pets. <laughs> oh boy, I'd love to see them. <laughs> Barney, what if we tell you about our pets, and you try and guess what they are? Oh, that's a stew. Oh, oh, pen this idea, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> you go first, Kathy. Okay, my pet is green and yellow. She loves to sing and sits on your finger sometimes, and she can fly, too. Hmm, could it be an elephant? Barney! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, you said she's green and yellow, loves to sing and fly. Is it a bird? Yes! Oh. It's a parakeet. Oh. <laughs> Barney, meet Priscilla. Oh, I'm very, very pleased to meet pretty Priscilla the parakeet. <laughs> My family decided a parakeet would be the best pet for us. We're not allowed to have dogs or cats in our apartment building. And besides, Nana's allergic to dog and cat fur. It makes her sneeze a lot. <laughs> so a parakeet is the perfect pet for your family. Uh-huh. I keep her water and birdseed trays full. Mm -hmm. And she has this little bell to play with. <laughs> and I clean off the bottom of the cage when it's dirty. What's this mirror for? It's a toy for Priscilla. She looks in the mirror and thinks there's another bird playing with her. <laughs> Do you ever let her out of the cage? Yes, but only if all the doors and windows are closed so she can't fly outside. <laughs> I remember a bird landed outside on my window once. Oh, really? Oh, tell us all about it. <laughs> once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. So I cried, little bird, won't you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and far away he flew. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. There he goes, he's flying away. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. So I cried, little bird, won't you stop, stop, stop? Flyers. <laughs> Here we go. Tweet, 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 tweet. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. So I cried, little bird, won't you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and far away he flew. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, lots of birds today. <laughs> chirp, 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 tweet, tweet. Oh, this is so much fun! Oh, whose pet can I guess next? I brought more than one pet today, Barney. Uh -huh. I'll tell you about one of them. He has long whiskers mm -hmm. and big eyes and fluffy fur, and he purrs a lot. Does he say meow? Yes. Is he a cat? Mm, sort of. He's a very small cat. Oh, oh, is he a baby cat? A kitten? Good guess, Barney. Oh, goody! <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, I can't wait to see him. Oh, he's tiny. Oh, he's really cute. What's his name? We named him Fluffy because his fur is so fluffy. Oh. Yeah. Is he hard to take care of? No. We do the same things Julie does for her puppy. Give him food and water and comb his fur. Do you take Fluffy for walks? Cats don't really go for walks like dogs do, but Fluffy gets lots of exercise chasing his cat toys. Yeah. <laughs> One time, I wasn't careful and left the door open, and Fluffy ran outside. What happened? I thought he ran away. Oh my, Carlos. I think that would give me the blues. Oh, gather around, everybody. I've got a sad story to tell. My pretty kitty left me. I don't know what to do. She walked right out the door. And now I'm telling you, I'm feeling really sad. Oh, so bad. Kind of mad. Feeling blue. Feeling sad, oh, so bad. Kind of mad. Feeling blue. I'm feeling really sad. Oh, so bad. Tell me where 
where she planned to go. I don't know how she really expected me to know. I'm feeling really sad. Oh, so bad. Kind of mad. Feeling blue. Feeling sad. Oh, so bad. Kind of mad. You must have been really glad when you found Fluffy. I sure was. He could have gotten hurt in the street. Show Barney the other pets you brought today, Carlos. Okay, see if you can guess what these are, Barney. Okay. You never have to put them on a leash. Hmm, never have to put them on a leash. And you might find them down by the bay. Might find them down by the bay? Oh, down by the bay. Down by the bay. Where the watermelons grow. Where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. Back to my home. I dare not go. I dare not go. For if I do. For if I do. My mother will say. My mother will say. Did you ever see a goose kissing a moose? Down by the bay. Did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay. Down by the bay. Did you ever see a parrot eating a carrot? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Did you ever see a bear combing his hair? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Did you ever see a goat riding in a boat? Down by the bay. Down by the bay. Down by the bay. Where the watermelons grow. Where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. Back to my home. I dare not go. I dare not go. For if I do. For if I do. My mother will say. My mother will say. Did you ever see a rhino kissing a dino? Down by the bay. <laughs> Did you ever see some friends having fun that never ends? Down by the bay. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ready for another clue, Barney? Oh, ready. <laughs> These pets are shiny, and they love to swim. Hmm, are they whales? Barney. Sharks? No. Okay, how about uh, goldfish? That's right. Oh. Oh. oh, those goldfish are super dee-duper. How did you know? <laughs> know what? The fish's names. Uh, I don't know the fish's names. I just said they were super dee-duper. But that's why I named them. Super huh? D and Dooper, because they remind me of you, Barney. Oh, why do they remind you of me? Because I'm happy when I see them, just like I'm happy when I see you. Oh, thanks, Carlos. What do they eat? I give them a little fish food like this every day. Mm. How often do you change their water? Just when it gets dirty so they have a nice, clean place to swim and live. Oh, you all take such good care of your pets, and that's important. <laughs> yes, let's take care of our pets, our hamsters and bunnies and turtles, our fishes and frogs and our cats and our dogs. Let's take care of our pets. Goodness. <laughs> oh, we should always be good to our pets. But I know a story about a dog who didn't like all the nice things his family did for him. Especially the baths. <laughs> Would you read it to us, Barney, please? Oh, I'd be delighted to. It's right over there. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> the 
story is called Harry the Dirty Dog. It was written by Jean Zion, and the pictures were drawn by Margaret Bloy Graham. <laughs> okay. Yep. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. <laughs> then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. <laughs> In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. <laughs> Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry, too. So, without stopping on the way, he ran back home. <laughs> when Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? <laughs> when Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old, clever tricks. He flip-flopped, and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced, and he sang. <laughs> he did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook his head and said, Oh, no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. <laughs> he found the scrubbing brush. And carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. <laughs> The stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. <laughs> this little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick! It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. <laughs> Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly. And he became, once again, a white dog with black spots. <laughs> it was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. <laughs> the end. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> I'm glad that my pet has never run away like Harry did. Oh, say, I haven't guessed what kind of pet you have, Kenneth. Okay, I'll give you some clues. Oh, all right. She has big front teeth like this. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. <laughs> she has long ears and a short tail. Mm -hmm. She likes to hop and she loves to eat carrots and lettuce. Hmm, what could it be? Let me guess. Is it a squirrel? Uh, no, a squirrel has short ears and a long tail. Not long ears and a short tail. <laughs> hmm, likes to hop.
Oh, I know. It's a rabbit. Right, Barney. Oh. It's a bunny rabbit. Oh. Her name is Snuggles, and here she is. Oh, oh no. Snuggles is gone. Oh, Where could she be? I hope she didn't go outside. She might get hurt out there. Uh, I should have been more careful. Oh, try not to worry, Kenneth. You didn't mean to leave the latch open. We need to think of a way to get Snuggles back to her cage. What can we do? Well, this sounds like a job for... The Barney Bag! That's right! Let's see what we can do. Well, I've been looking in my Barney Bag, and I found a lot of things. Gizmos and gadgets and odds and ends and even some old strings. So let's ask ourselves the question, <laughs> what can we make today? Yep. With imagination and the Barney bag, we'll see what we can make today. Yeah, see what we can make today. <laughs> let's all make something to catch the rabbit. Ooh. But what? I have an idea. Ooh. We could take these buttons uh -huh. and this big piece of paper, uh -huh. and we'll use this card. Oh. Okay, and then some of this. Terrific job. <laughs> there. We're all done. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, everybody. I think I saw something moving in the bushes out on the playground. Maybe it's Snuggles. Oh, well, we better hurry. Oh, quick, get the rabbit to the wall. Oh, 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 wait for us, Snuggles. <laughs> it looks terrific. <laughs> If Snuggles thinks this is a real bunny, maybe she'll come over to share this carrot. Yeah. Then we can jump out and catch her. Yeah. Let's all hide behind the tree. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 hurry. Stay out of sight so Snuggles won't know we're here. Oh, I hope she doesn't see my tail. Oh, it's hard to hide a whole dinosaur behind a tree. Do you hear some crunching sounds? Maybe it's Snuggles eating the carrot. Okay, when I count to three, let's catch her before she can run away again. Okay. One, two, three! Oh, hurry, everybody, hurry! Whoa! Oh, 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 the carrot is gone! Oh, no! A squirrel got it! Oh. There he goes! Oh. What do we do now? Snuggles didn't want to come to our paper rabbit. Mm. We're never gonna find my rabbit. Maybe Snuggles didn't come to this paper rabbit. Because it didn't hop. Hmm? Yeah, or it was too small for her to see. What we need are some really big bunnies <laughs> hopping around with really big carrots. Do you think this will work? <laughs> sure. Snuggles will see us and think we're big bunnies with big carrots. <laughs> She'll want to make friends and share the carrots. And we'll catch her when she comes close. So let's get hopping. Oh, boing, boing, boing. Oh. Hippity hop to the barber shop to buy a stick of candy. One for you and one for me and one for Sister Annie. Snuggles thought we were bunnies, too. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Oh. Um, I think she's happy to be back. Oh, yeah, I think you're does. right. Mm -hmm. Hi, Snuggles. Oh, boing, boing. <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed meeting all your pets today. You know, a pet can be one of your best friends. And it's fun to take care of them and give them lots of love. <laughs> I think your pets are team. <laughs> Thanks, Barney. It's easy to share pets that you love with friends that you love.
Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for helping me find my rabbit, Barney. Oh, you're very welcome, Kenneth. <laughs> Bye. See you later. So long. Take care. See you soon. <laughs> Everybody, it's time for Barney Says. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Did you try to guess everybody's pets like I did today? Julie likes to take her puppy Scooter for walks, but she always keeps him on a leash so he'll be safe. Scooter tickled my toes when he sat on my feet. <laughs> oh, puppy, puppy. <laughs> it was fun singing about the tricks a doggy does. Can you roll over? Oh, very good. <laughs> Fluffy the kitten was nice and soft. Yum. We met three goldfish that were super, d, duper. And we met Kathy's parakeet, Priscilla. Do you remember what color she is? That's right, she's green. Hop, hop, hop. We pretended to be big bunnies. And Snuggles came back to Kenneth. He really loves his bunny. And remember, I love you. show you where to look. Big dinosaurs. Whoa! <laughs> Am I big enough? And a whole lot of numbers. Hey, everyone, I found the number two in Texas. Then get ready, because it's time for counting. The newest home video from Barney. Come on, let's practice. One, two, three. When the numbers on Stella the Storyteller's alarm clock wind up missing. No! Most of the numbers are missing. It's up to Barney and all his friends to help her find them. Great idea. Let's go. Get ready for lots of wonderful stories. Once upon a time, in the wall of a farmer's cottage, plus fun and music four. galore, and great numbers like 12, 9, and 4. That's a kitschy little rhyme. <laughs> Learning how to count has never been this much fun. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Don't miss It's Time for Counting, now on home video from Lyric Studios. Not so far away, there's a wonderful wetland where nature comes alive like never before. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! It's a magical place full of laughs, songs, and lots of friends. I am Hegdish, explorer extraordinaire. Welcome to Groundling Marsh, home to some of Mother Nature's most delightfully unusual characters. Join Galileo and Maggie, Echo and Crystal, Mudslinger and Hegdish. Did somebody mention my name? And Stax, as they share an adventure after adventure and learn many valuable lessons. How do you feel about sharing Merigo Pop with Maggie? Get ready for plenty of laughs and a whole lot of fun when you come on down to Groundling Marsh, living proof that Mother Nature has a sense of humor. <laughs> Don't miss Groundling Marsh now on public television. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? Check your local listings or call your public television station for the viewing time in your area and watch for Groundling Marsh on home video. Available this spring from Lyric Studios. Groundling Marsh. Listening to their conscience. Listen to your inner voice. 
your conscience is the king. Yes, and fessing up when they mess up. Choices count entertains while teaching the very important idea that sometimes making choices isn't easy. Choices are what it's all about. That we've learned with, with scenes from bananas and pajamas, the big comfy couch, and wishbone. Choices Count is 60 minutes of fun for kids and parents alike. Look for Choices Count at a store near you.